Hello and welcome to CNN News 18 with me Ayushman Singh Jamwal. Big breaking news coming in from Maharashtra, ladies and gentlemen, where 24 patients, including 12 children, have died in a hospital in Nanded in just the last 24 hours. The deaths have been attributed to a shortage of medicines and medical assistance as well as a sudden influx of patients from neighboring districts of Parbhani, Hingoli and Yavatmal. Now remember back in August 18 people died in 24 hours in a Thane hospital. Politics has erupted over the matter where Rahul Gandhi has tweeted and I quote, the BJP government spends thousands of crores of rupees on its publicity but there is no money for medicines for children. In the eyes of the BJP, the lives of the poor have no value. End quote. The hospital says it encountered four last stage cases with children, three accident cases of adults, one pregnancy complication case, four heart attack patients, one snake bite patient, two kidney related cases of adults and these patients died during treatment. So that is the pitch that's come in from the hospital authorities. So very tragic piece of news coming in from Maharashtra, ladies and gentlemen. 24 deaths in 24 hours and you can see Congress leaders have already landed up at the hospital. You can see over there Ashok Chavan at the hospital trying to take stock of the situation over there. But very tragic scenes coming in from Maharashtra where what you can see is that 24 people have died in the last 24 hours, 12 of them being children. Let's listen in to what Ashok Chavan had to say. चिंताजनक है गंभीर है तीन ने दखल घे गरज हि है शासकीय वैद्यकीय महाविद्यालय शासना ने हमें तीन ने विना विलंब कार्रवाई करना चीज़ मदद करना चीज़ आवश्यकता है and i'm joined by my colleague mayoresh on the broadcast mayoresh what's the latest absolutely what we just heard uh, mr ashok chavhan was a former minister and he's also mla from uh, nanded was uh, basically saying that the government should intervene because this is a government uh, hospital but uh, what we are learning uh, that when we had word with the dean he clearly said that uh, they was uh, were supposed to uh, purchase the medicines from the hafken institute but that didn't happen and also on record he said that uh, the patients the number of patients were increased suddenly and that's why they could not uh, treat them because they were short of the budget uh, which was basically allocated uh, to purchase the medicines but now the latest uh, statement which you read out uh, which hospital has issued which uh, it clearly says that for emergency patients or for the critical patients uh, the, uh, there is the, st the enough stock is available uh, of a medicine but uh, the, the statement also mentions that in last two days number of critical patient especially patients in the last stage uh, was increased uh, or we can say the number of patients uh, came uh, in a large number and that's why uh, this kind of, this uh, incident happened but right now also there are uh, other patients who are critical and uh, who are in uh, say critical or emergency ward and the doctors and the staff is uh, treating them and monitoring their health condition right uh, and mayuresh at the same time is this particular hospital a nodal hospital for a lot of for a lot of uh, kind of like local areas 